Hi, my name is Carrie Barnum, and I am the executive director for New Shelves Books. A question we've been getting in a lot lately is how to make a price barcode. As most of you probably know that when you're selling into a retail store, a bookshop, a gift store, they really like you to have a priced barcode on the back of the book. It makes it easy for them to use their scanning systems to not only tell the price, but also to actually make a sale. And when it's easier for them to work with the book, they're more likely to stock it. So when you are uploading your book cover to Ingram Spark, it's really important to get a priced barcode in there so that as they are putting your book into Ingram Wholesaler, the retailer can see that you've got a priced barcode, which makes, again, it's a little bit easier for them. You can pay for a price barcode. There are options out there that sell them, but if you're willing to take a couple of minutes, you can do this pretty easily by yourself, and I'm gonna show you how. So first thing I'm going to do is just share my screen right here. We're going to hop on over to Ingram Sparks Cover Template Generator. I'll link to it in this video, but you can also just Google Ingram Spark Cover Template Generator, and it comes right up. To get this done, you will need your ISBN and you will need to know the price that you intend to sell the book for. I happen to have those things. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my ISBN and you just go through and you fill out the form. It's not hard. It's five and a half by eight and a half. It's going to be black and white, cream paperback. We're doing perfect bound. Um, the good news is, is that if you're not super certain about some of these options, that's okay. We're creating a cover template, but we're doing that mostly to pull out the barcode. We won't be using this for our actual cover template. So if you don't know that part, it's not such a big deal. You just need to be very sure of the ISBN and the price. Now on the file type here, most of us aren't using InDesign. That's more of a advanced program. So I'm going to choose PDF. So when I get the file, I can open it right in Adobe. Then you will have this emailed to yourself and the price. Again, this part is important. Please make sure that you get the price correctly. I'm going to keep it in US dollars and I'm going to change this to yes. I do want the price in the barcode because it's kind of the point. Submit that through, and then it will take a couple of minutes for that to be emailed to you. But once it does, you're ready to get started. You do need to have access to working within a PDF um, opener like Adobe, and you will also need your full cover size for Ingram Spark. So I'm going to share my screen again, and we will just get started. Again, super quick, I happen to already had this emailed to me. So this is what your cover template will look like. And you can notice down here in the left-hand side that this is where your price barcode is. And the way that we can tell it's priced is right here, and I'll zoom in in just a minute, but right here, whoops, there we go. You can see that the price, $12.95. If it was not priced, that would be a bunch of zeros. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this ISBN barcode to put onto my final cover. The way I do that, just use cropping. I'm going to crop in here using a cropping tool on PDF. It's okay if it's a little messy at first. I can get closer and closer in. I'm gonna make this bigger, and I'm just going to crop in right around the white edges of the barcode. Again, it's not hard. And now what I'm left with is just the barcode, which is great, but now I need to save this as a JPEG and put it on my cover. So I'm going to do a file, save as. I am going to put this on my computer. Let's do a different. Make sure I can find it easily. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And you can name it anything you want or you can keep it as the ISBN. But the important part is that we're going to change the file type from Adobe PDF to a JPEG. And I'm going to save that. Now I have a JPEG that I can actually put on my cover. And the cover I have right here, you can see this gorgeous cover and it's all ready to go. Generally, your barcode will go on the bottom right hand side, but to do that, I need to be able to input an image. So I am going to add an image, which again, I'm just using the tools for searching. I'm going to add an image and I've got my barcode right here, the price barcode that I just created. And this will allow me to place it on 
my cover. Again, we want it to be in the bottom right hand corner, not too low. Um, keep in mind where a normal barcode would be. You can find a book in your, your bookshelf and kind of compare it. We want to keep the size of this exactly the same. We don't want it down here. We don't want it so close to the bottom that it looks funny. We don't want it, you know, connected to anything. We want it right there, typically just about there. Now, if we were going to do a bio or anything else on the side, we certainly could. I'm gonna do it. There we go, I think that's good. Another important thing to keep in mind is I try to stay close. You can see these green lines. I try to stay close to the description because what I don't wanna do is get it over here. This means that it would actually be wrapping around on the spine and that doesn't look professional at all. So again, I'm going to put it right there. And then I had to zoom in for my eyes here, but then you can see now it's a priced barcode. It's all set to go for Ingram Spark. So now I'm going to save this. And I always save things as a priced cover. So right here, I'm going to just notate that it's a priced barcode so that I can save it no problems for when I'm ready to do the upload. And if I'm ready to view it, again, super easy. I'm ready to upload and I wanna double check my file. And here it is. It's all set, it's ready to go. And literally that quickly, in just a couple minutes, I've completely created a price barcode. I can put it on my book and it's ready for upload to Ingram Spark. So if you're a little bit willing to try and try out the technology, give it a go and let us know how it works out.